okay so now in this video we will add gravity to our player so before adding gravity we want to check that if the player is on the surface or you can say on the ground or not so in order to do that uh, let's open up the player script and right here in the player collision and gravity we will create actually let's create a float okay and let's name this as surface check radius and by default this will be for example let's just say 0.1f okay then after this we will add a vector 3 actually let's make this public because we will be creating changes in this vector 3 so we want to show this in the inspector okay so let's name this as so we are using the surface word right here so we will just use the surface as well right here as well so we will say surface check offset okay then after this we need a reference to the layer mask because on our ground and to the objective objects in our environment we will be adding a layer to them so for example if we have a ground and we have a layer attached to the, that ground for example a surface or anything then when the player hits that layer then we will know that yes the player is on the ground or not or you can say the surface or not okay so let's just say public layer mask and we will say surface layer okay then after this right here we will add a bool by the name of is or actually on surface okay so once you created these four variables actually these two are references okay so once you do that okay then after this uh, player movement actually this code is just for the movement okay so let's just add the gravity code right here inside this update function okay or let's just create a different function for now by the name of surface check okay and in here what we will do we will say that if is where is it okay if on surface or actually for now we will just say that on surface equals to physics dot check sphere okay in here we will say transform which is the player transform we want to transform this player transform to transform point I think yes and in here we will say surface check offset okay then after this we will say it is actually surface check radius and then after this we will pass the surface layer as well so surface layer okay so what this will do all it will do that if the player transform okay if the player transform hits the surface layer okay if it hits the surface layer then this on surface will be equals to true it means that yes the player is on the surface and this surface check of radius this will be actually a radius uh, on the player foots okay so if that radius hits the surface layer then we will know that yes the player is on the surface okay so this code will simply just do that so now what we need to do right here in the update function let's call this surface check right there 
and also we want to see in the console that if the player is on the surface or not so for that we will just simply say debug.log okay and in here we will say player on surface and what we will do we will call this on surface bool right there okay we will know that if this bool is true or false it means that if it falls then the player is not on surface and if it is true the player is yes on the surface okay and guys you will not know what is happening in our game okay so we need a visual presentation for this surface check code okay so we will be actually drawing a gizmos on the player feet and then you will know that how this surface thing will work okay so for that right here let's create a private void by the name of on draw gizmos selected I think yes okay it was already there in the suggestion okay so we will be drawing a gizmos on this area okay so for drawing the gizmos on that location what we need to do we need to type gizmos dot draw sphere okay and right here we, we will pass the position that where we want to draw the sphere so the position will be this one transform dot transform point surface check offset okay and also we will pass the surface radius to it as well so that it will give that radius value to the sphere of the gizmos okay so where it is surface check radius yes and we also want to give this gizmo a color so we will say gizmos dot color and the color will be let's just for example color it as yellow okay so what this will do this will draw a gizmo on this location okay and as you can see this will draw a sphere so we we need to add a radius to the sphere that how big this sphere will be so the sphere radius will be this check I mean this surface check radius okay this will be this sphere radius okay so that is it now if we save this and guys before saving it right here make sure that you type a plus sign okay or else it will give an error because in the debug.log we use a plus sign okay that is it to that get back to the unity and now as you can see we need to add the layer right here but if we click on the player and your gizmos is on okay you will notice this yellow sphere right there okay so this is basically the sphere which we created okay and when the sphere will hit the ground like this then we will know that yes the player is on the surface okay and you can change the surface I mean the sphere position like this okay if I change that back to zero it will be in the player feet like that and actually let's move this a little bit to the player feet okay so that it covers the whole player feet like that make it in the center and where is the radius I think we didn't make the radius a public where is it okay here it is let's make this public so that we can change the value of the radius from this inspector you can actually use serialize field if you want okay so now if we try to increase this value as you can see the radius is increasing so let's make sure that this whole radius cover the player feet like that okay the whole feet of the player okay so as you can see it is covering the whole feet of the player and also make sure that you move this a little bit upwards like that actually let's make it 0 0.06 that will be it okay now for the surface layer let's just now add the layer so if we click on this okay this is by the name of road and if we select that this is road edge actually let me first of all create a layer 
quickly so if we just simply click on player and then add layer right here we will add a layer by the name of obstacle for example okay and then if we click on our environment and open it up and in here let's just search for road okay this is the road this is the road run then we have the road edges okay we want to add this to all of this road okay so what we will do we will just simply go up there select all of these thing and right here add a layer obstacle yes change children and that is it so now make sure that you add this obstacle layer to your terrain or whatever ground you have inside your game for now for my game I have these roads so I have added this layer to these roads as you can see okay and on this roads we don't have the colliders so it will not detect that if the player is on the surface or not so in order to fix that as well let's actually again search for road okay and let's just quickly add colliders to all of our road area okay click on add component and we can actually add a box collider to all of this area and also guys make sure that you add the collider and the layer to this area as well let me just select okay I think we have added it to this one as well okay it is right here the road okay so we have already done it now if we get back and click on the player let's play the game okay so the on surface is false it means that the player is not on the surface and the reason behind this is right here we didn't add the layer so make sure that you select the obstacle layer on the surface layer as well okay and now if we play it again okay it is still false if we see the console for some time it was set to true okay let me actually just change this from this I don't know what this call but let me just click on this collapse and it will show one by one okay and if we play it again now we will be able to see it correctly okay so as you can see it is for now false and when we come right here it becomes true okay on this area specifically so what this means this means that the circle or you can say the sphere is not hitting the surface at all if you turn on the gizmos on the scene area okay and click on player as you can see right here this sphere is not hitting this area okay so that is the reason this is returning as false so what we can do with this and let me actually make the height of this uh, character controller a little bit less okay for example if we decrease it like that okay to for example 1.9 and we will increase the radius of this sphere so let's stop the game click on player make this as 1.9 okay like that and for this sphere let's move it let's just actually increase its radius to 0 0.5 or 0. 3, 3 will be enough as well let's play it again and now as you can see it is returning true so now it means that yes the player is on the surface because the player on surface right here it is false okay but if we move to some other surface as you know right here it becomes true so let me just check it out right here why is it doing this problem if 
we change into scene view there is the player okay it is still touching that area but I don't know why it is returning false I think this is due to the colliders of this area okay as you can see on this sidewalk we don't have any type of collider okay because we have added the box collider on the parent okay so we just need to remove this box collider from there and select this sidewalk okay and then right here we can just search for sidewalk okay from here the sidewalk starts let just select all of the sidewalk area as you can see the these area are the sidewalks into all of the sidewalks add this box collider and this will fix the issue okay there was no issue with our code or anything but we forgot to add box collider to this area so if you are having some issue with the surface check okay then make sure that you have added colliders and also this obstacle or whatever you name the layer okay make sure that you add the layer to that object and then the collider and also you assign that layer right here as well okay so now if we play it again now the player is on the surface the surface is true as you can see so what this means this means that yes now our player is on the surface okay for now we don't have any gravity for example if we move our player in the air and play the game our player will stay in the air as you can see whoops let me just close it again actually so if we move our player to this position okay and then if we play the game you will notice that when the player is in the air it is false but when he touch the ground I mean her when she actually touch the ground then the surface becomes equals to true okay and we have not added any of the code for gravity okay but I don't know why we have just added the character controller and as many of the unity developers know that character controller doesn't comes with a built-in gravity okay but I don't know why the player still have gravity okay I've just find out this thing now as you can see when we move it the player in the air as you can see just falls back to the ground like that okay I don't know why but if we deactivate the character controller and then move it then he stay in the air but if we activate as you can see it moves to the ground so I don't know why the player is moving to the ground when we have the character controller since character controller doesn't comes with a built-in gravity okay it just comes with a built-in collision okay as I told you in the previous videos okay so might be there be I think there were an update for the character controller or maybe my unity has some bugs or whatever okay so I don't know for you guys you guys just let me know okay comment down below that if this things happens to your game as well or not but I don't know why this character controller has gravity okay it should be not having gravity only the rigid body has gravity okay okay so it has the gravity but if this doesn't work for you okay I will be adding gravity by code as well so in the next video we will add gravity by code to our player as well okay